So she herself rated this book five stars. That's the first review you see on Goodreads is the author giving herself five stars and saying, I'm amazing. I love me. Oh, um, I hate that. Don't do that. Yes. No, it's so egotistical. Well, a lot of people started giving her one and two star reviews and they were saying this needs to be edited. Like it looks like you wrote this in six days and nobody touched it. And this is a very rough first draft. Like this needs a lot of work. Well, apparently this author, the editor and the editor's husband started attacking these reviewers mm. and calling them names and, you know, trashing them and trying to get the reviews deleted and all this stuff and then apparently she went on tiktok to apologize but didn't actually apologize just that everybody was bullying her for writing a gay fantasy and that you know she's the victim in all of this so like, that's the latest good get a life <laughs> like really like okay we have been down this road before with authors behaving badly we have oh, yeah. been down this road a gazillion times when are authors gonna learn if you don't have thick skin stay away from the fucking comments stay and reviews from reviews period. don't reviews are not for authors no they're for readers yes so don't even bother looking at them mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. don't do it i mean if you're confident in your work let it lie i mean why are you yeah. looking at reviews do you want someone to pat you on the back is that what it is you want someone to well, she Boost gave your herself five-star review. <laughs> I don't know. It is so... Ugh. If you're going to write a, a book in six days, good. Go for it. Do it. But make sure you actually put in the effort and get the developmental edits, get some beta readers, get a bunch of other impartial people to read your work and tell you if it's actually good or not. Yeah. Because she could have probably cleaned that up quite a bit and actually had a semi-successful book. And that's what a lot of these one-star reviews are saying, that, like, it has decent bare bones, but, you know, mm. it's repetitive. She uses the same words to describe the same people. There are giant plot holes that needed to be filled and could have been fixed if somebody had brought this up. And so I don't know who her editor is. I need to go digging around in my editor groups to see if I can find out who. But like, my job as an editor is to point out these issues. It's up to the author whether or not they fix them. Right. And I have had authors who listen to me say, hey, this is a plot hole. And they say, I don't care. I want it this way. And I'm just like, okay. Okay. You know, it's a plot hole. I have done my job. You keep it. You keep your plot hole. Mm -hmm. You keep it nice and open. Is she self-published? I think okay. so. I think that's the only way she would be able to get this published. Yeah. Ugh. I feel like, and I know this is not for every everybody, right? This does not apply to all writers. But sometimes I feel like writers with a publisher listen to the editors more because they have pressure from the publisher to yes. work with the editors like you know what i'm saying like they don't have like free w unless you're a very well-known author with receipts <laughs> and cash in the bank you know what i'm saying yes you're pushed yes. a little bit more to have the best result that they can try to manage for you <laughs> i just yes so yes and no um i know authors like alona andrews who we absolutely love and adore they were told that they had to cut 30,000 words out of one of their books because the publisher didn't want it to be that long. Mm. And so, yeah, sometimes the publisher's like, nope, this is your word count. You can't go over it, which is wild. Yeah. Um, and then there are books that I pick up and I read that have been traditionally published. And I'm like, has any editor looked at this? because there are so many plot holes, there's so many typos, there's so many mistakes. How was this traditionally published? How to get through. <laughs> yeah, no, there's so yeah. many, like it, it depends on the publishing house, the editors, the authors, what's going on. This guy just tried to friend me on Goodreads. 
from Lagos, Nigeria. And when I click on his photo and his, uh, you know, his thing, his profile, I'm like, you look like a spammer. Yeah. You look like a spammer. And he went around friending a bunch of girls because you can see who, you know how you can see the trail. (laughs) Uh I'm like, Uh yeah, no, no, thank you. I'm like, what is this? I hate that. Like this Goodreads is not that kind of platform. Stop it. (sighs) Okay. He's ignored. It might be fun to have like a dating app for book nerds. (laughs) Maybe. Time, but also not Goodreads. Don't make no, it. No, not Goodreads. 